The definition of a limit is that L is the limit of f of x as x approaches c if and only if L is the one number you can keep f of x arbitrarily close to just by keeping x close enough to c but not equal to c. As you can see on the graph, the graph is approaching the same value of f of x from both the left and the right as x is approaching c but never being equal to c. This value is the limit. The limit is written as the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals l, the limit. Tired of spending so much time trying to solve polynomial division by long division? Want to use a shortcut? Use synthetic substitution! Synthetic substitution, or synthetic division, is used as a shorthand method of polynomial division in the special case of dividing a polynomial function by a linear factor. Here is an example using synthetic substitution and the limit properties to find a limit of a function. Find the limit as x approaches 3 of x to the third minus x to the second minus 2x minus 12 divided by x minus 3. First, we check if we can find the limit just by plugging 3 into the x's, since we are trying to see what value of f of x the limit equals as x approaches 3. By plugging in 3 into the x's and solving the function, we see that both the numerator and the denominator equal 0, which shows us that the expression approaches the indeterminate form 0 over 0 as x approaches 3. Knowing this, we will now use synthetic substitution to factor out the numerator and then cancel out the x minus 3 factors. Here are the rules for synthetic substitution. Looking at our equation, we first take the number from the denominator that is being subtracted from x, which in this case is 3, and put it in the box. Take note that if the number is subtracted, like x minus 3, then the number in the box is positive, and if the number is being added, for example x plus 3, then the number in the box will be negative. After this, we write out the coefficients of the function on the numerator. In this case, it will be 1, negative 1, negative 2, and negative 12. From here, we take the first coefficient and drop it down. Then, we take that number and multiply it with the number in the box. So here, it would be 1 times 3, which equals 3. So we write the product under the second coefficient. The next step from here is to add the numbers going down. So we will add negative 1 plus 3, which equals 2. So we write 2 down below. Now, we just repeat the process. 2 times 3 equals 6, so we write 6 under the negative 2. Then negative 2 plus 6 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12, and negative 12 plus 12 equals 0. At the end, the last number should cancel out, since x minus 3 is a factor of this function. So here is what we have now. 1, 2, and 4 are the quotient of this problem, and the remainder value, 0, is the value of the function. So in this case, the quotient of this is a quadratic function. The result of the synthetic substitution is x squared plus 2x plus 4. So now, we use the results of the synthetic substitution and write our function like this. The limit as x approaches 3 of x minus 3 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 divided by x minus 3. Notice the quotient of our synthetic substitution is x squared plus 2x plus 4. From here, we cancel out x minus 3 from both the numerator and the denominator. We can cancel out x minus 3 from this function because the definition of a limit says that L is a number you can keep f of x arbitrarily close to just by keeping x close enough to c but not equal to c. So in this case, it will be keeping x close enough to 3 but not equal to 3 since 3 is the c in this function. Now, by using the limit of a sum property, we distribute the limit to each term. So now, we can write this as limit of x squared as x approaches 3 plus the limit of 2x as x approaches 3 plus the limit of 4 as x approaches 3. Now, following the limit theorems further, we can use the limit of a product property to write the limit of x squared as x approaches 3 as the limit of x as x approaches 3 times the limit of x as x approaches 3, since x squared is equal to x times x. Then we use the limit of a constant times a function property to write the limit of 2 times x as x approaches 3 as 2 times the limit of x as x approaches 3, the constant 2 going in front of the limit. After that, we can use the limit of a constant property to write the limit of 4 as x approaches 3 as 4. 
Then using the identity function, we plug in 3 for the x's and solve, which then equals 19. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 equals 19. We can check our answers by graphing it on our calculators. The graph shows that there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 3, and that the graph is approaching the same value of f of x, which is 19, from both the left and the right as x is approaching 3. This proof reveals a simple way to find the limit of the indeterminate form 0 over 0 by using synthetic substitution. We chose to do our video project on finding the limit of a function by factoring with synthetic substitution because it's a very helpful method in quickly factoring polynomial equations in order to find the limit. By doing this project, we enhanced our understanding and ability to use the synthetic substitution method for dividing polynomials.